Muhammad Natsir was an Indonesian Islamic scholar and politician who served as Indonesia's first Prime Minister. During his youth, he spoke out against Dutch rule and published anti-colonial articles in newspapers such as Pambela Islam. Muhammad Natsir also rejected the Dutch curriculum which was designed to enslave Indonesians and he began teaching his own classes at the Islamic Youth Association, delivering lectures on Islamic subjects and modern science. As a part of his mission to revolutionize the minds of the Indonesian youth, he translated many Arabic books into the Malay language, including books written by revolutionary Arab thinkers such as Rashid Rida and Sheikh Muhammad Abdu, who called on Muslims to rise up against colonialism. Due to his popularity, Muhammad Natsir later became involved in politics and he participated in the 1945 Indonesian Revolution against Dutch rule. After Indonesia was liberated from Dutch rule, Muhammad Natsir was elected as the first Prime Minister of Indonesia. He implemented a non-aligned foreign policy during the Cold War and he refused to be an American or Soviet puppet. Muhammad Natsir rejected the request by US President Harry Truman to send Indonesian troops to fight in the Korean War. Muhammad Natsir also resisted pressure from the Indonesian Communist Party to ally with the Soviets. He rejected both imperialist powers and instead formed close relations with Muslim countries such as Malaysia and Kuwait. He also invested in the welfare of the people and limited his personal spending. Despite being Prime Minister, he wore simple clothes and rejected the offer of President Sukarno who offered him a luxury government car. The reign of Muhammad Natsir was highly successful. However, he eventually resigned from the government and began speaking out against President Sukarno and his failure to address the needs of poor citizens in the Indonesian countryside. As a result, Muhammad Natsir was arrested and imprisoned. Muhammad Natsir was later banned from participating in politics due to his open criticism of the President's signing of the Joint Security Pact with the United States. Therefore, he focused on social activism and he established the charitable organization known as the Indonesian Islamic Dawah Council, which established mosques and schools across Indonesia and focused on reforming Indonesian society. He also traveled to various countries in the Muslim world and participated in Islamic conferences, and he raised awareness about Islamic issues to the Indonesian people such as Israel's oppression of the Palestinians and the Serbian genocide against Bosnians. Throughout his life, Muhammad Natsir also wrote many books, including Islam as the Foundation of the State, The Palestinian Issue, and The History of the Indonesian Revolution. Muhammad Natsir passed away in February 1993.